the owner of the black tie clinic hit that like button share and subscribe remember eagles flies with eagles all right now hit the like button share and subscribe this is arthur Oma, and remember eagles fly with eagles Amen. Are you watching the show? Love in Christ 33. All right, cool. Yes, Martel's birthday is tomorrow. And then we got two more December birthdays. But I think for Christmas, I'm going to buy everybody a cake whose birthday in December because we got um, my uncle's birthday in December, my cousin's birthday in December. Maverick's birthday, Melania's birthday, Mortel's birthday. So I think that I'm... So you got all these birthdays. Now look, Sugar Mama birthday has came and gone. This man have not said one thing to Sugar Mama. That little precious baby. Sugar Mama, he, he, he got this thing against Sugar Mama because his Sugar Mama represents strength. Strength because... A male had often said that she gave me the strength that I need to lead. She gave me all the love that I thought I didn't have. She brought all that those emotions back into me when I had this baby. And I remember when she told Martel, hey, look, I'm pregnant. Martel said, oh, well, this baby going to keep us together. That's what he thought. He thought having that baby would keep them together. But Martel knew all the time that Arian was pregnant. You got Arian on. She, she all on the background uh, uh, upset with Mel for having another baby by her, her husband. Y'all get that? The girl in the background now, he using her as his energy supply too now what, for this birthday. They trying to keep these birthdays hid because he's out telling people that this little knock was born after they were divorced. No, they wasn't divorced when Lola Knox was born. No, they wasn't divorced when this girl was pregnant with Lola Knox. Arian is upset because this woman, his wife, is having a baby by her husband. Yeah, a toxic parent is what he is. He's a narcissistic parent. This is an invisible war that you guys see. The invisible war is between in his head. In his head, he got this war going on for Melody. I'm going to punish her. I'm going to keep this little boy in front of her. I'm going to use this child. I'm going to use the child doing all the precious things, such as birthday parties. I'm going to put it in your face at the expense of little tank. I'm going to let this little boy just run over, run over, take over, be destructive. Wow, I use tank as the scapegoat. And while I push little sugar mama over there to the side over there. Daddy, 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 sugar mama is saying, I want to sit next to you. Children in healthy homes learn how to express their needs, their wants, and deal with conflicts within the safety net of their siblings and parents. Let's keep it rolling, you guys. Dealing with the narcissistic parents. And I see this at this table, you guys. Y'all see it as a birthday party. I see it as this narcissist. This narcissist man using all his children as his energy supply to get back at Melody. Come on, baby. Come on. All right, go ahead. Can you put it in your mouth? Have you ever put No, no double dip. Huh. You know what? I'm gonna give you a new front, baby. All right, there you go. Good. 
What's up, son? Lock trying to feed me a fry. I'm a lady. Say hi. Check, 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 check it out. Check it out. Look who's sitting next to him. Look who's sitting next to him. Now, this is done on purpose, you guys. Y'all remember the picture? That picture infuriated me. The picture where he came out, how he came out with little notes. When he had that family photo where he copied off a mail, he did it on purpose. He had sugar mama on the flow, had knocks in his lap. Now the person that took that, that photo should have told him, no, bro, I'm not I'm not taking this photo. That little girl should be on your lap also. But here is when this baby right here, she knows the difference. She's gonna say, I want to sit next to you also. All he had to do was sit them in the middle. However, children in a home with a narcissistic parent learn that they are rivals for their parental affection. When she tells her dad, look, dad, I want to sit next to you too. Silver rivalry. This little girl knows. They learn to hide their true selves, not only from their parents, but from each other. They learn from very young that love, acceptance, and safety are conditional. They learn that their wants and needs are not valid. They do not feel inherently worthy of love and belonging. Instead, Deep in their bones, they know that home and family is not safe. This little girl knows. She knows. She can feel it in her bones that she's been treated differently. She can feel it in her bones that when this little boy is around, something is wrong. What's wrong with this picture, you guys? Y'all see it as somebody out having fun with their children. Look at this. Let me keep it going. Hey. What's up? I don't know what to talk about. I just want to come over here and tell y'all hello. And I'll see you. I'm sorry, son. Sit down. Hey, mom, you want to tell everybody how to? Look, 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 look. He's being destructive. He's not sitting at the table uh, like the other children, mannerable and respectful. No, he's not. But look how he's talking with them, son, sit down. I thought you said that you was a, a disciplinary, that you discipline your children with an iron rod. Well, you should discipline your son. And the reason I feel like he let little Knox do what he want to do is because he don't care about a damn about little Knox. That is my opinion. Little Knox is used as a supply to get that abnormality. So this man is terrorizing this family. He terrorizing his family behind closed doors. That's what you will hear on the next recording when he records his, his daughter. That's terrorizing. He terrorizing these children when he got them in a car, asking them to repeat everything like as if they were singing a song about their mother, everything negative about their mother and, and their uncle Marcus. He had coached them over and over and over about what to say about their mother and Marcus in that car. Yes, 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 yes. This narcissist. He's emotionally and spiritually abusing his children. Look at that little boy. That little boy has no manners. That little boy is just a took over. Keep it going. But too late. Tell him hi, Malia. <laughs> Malia said, Mama. My mama and Malia look so much alike, right? Oh, you wiped it off? 
Well, you wipe your lipstick off, Malia? Yes, that was, it was red, just like your grandma's. <laughs> They're learning. They're talking back to their mom. She said, she says, that's not, that not lipstick, that's lip gloss. She's getting older now and she's been trying to verbalize herself and how she feels and she knows she can be safe because grandmama got her back over there, y'all. Her grandmama had her back over there and look at a little tank. Tank's sitting way over there. It's his birthday. Why ain't Tank over there by you? It's Tank's birthday. But Tank's birthday been interrupted. You can't give Tank all your undivided attention because you got this child, got this other woman that failed to discipline her child. You're not around little nuts enough to discipline him. He had just to took over the whole show, y'all. Don't behind the scene that they say in that restaurant that that little boy was doing. The terrorized the whole restaurant. What happens when children in these chaotic homes grow up and move out? By the time they realize their parents are Nazis, they have destructive narcissistic parents. The damage has already been done. Their brains have already been wired from years and years of trauma. Even as adults, it is common for the golden child to continue defending the narcissistic parent and continue to blame the scapegoat child. In this scenario, it is likely that these adult children will repeat old patterns from childhood. Now, now, that's why Melody got her children in mental health therapy because they have a dad that's toxic. Hey son, happy birthday to you Martell. <laughs> um, my mama eating good over there. <laughs> son, look at him. Look, 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 look. Look at the two parenting skills this girl gonna come on national TV, national platform and say, I'm tired of y'all talking about my son. Calling my son something. Calling my son with mental health issues or delayed issues. Look at this little boy. He had no home training, no manners. And he like, son, 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 son. But notice how he talking to him as opposed to how he was talking to Tank. Calling out Tank, everything Tank do, he was calling Tank out. Look, and this girl got the nerve, got the nerve to sit on on national platform and let this little boy beat her in the head, bite her, beat up her, beat up her daughter, and tell her daughter it's okay to be abused. Yeah, little Knox is used as this. This this golden boy right now, cause his, his his job is to taunt Melody. Little Nas' job right now is to is to taunt Melody. Little Nas' job right now is to is to taunt them little other children so that they would not have a happy birthday. It's all about me. It's about me today. I'm gonna get back at you, Melody. I'm gonna, I know that this little boy don't have no home training. Did you hear what he said? Let's keep it going. Sit your little butt down. Try to get, get the fries. You love fries. It's yours, son. Eat it. Huh? Baby, you can sit beside me, but I gotta keep him on lockdown. Melani just saying that she. Go back. Daddy, daddy, let me sit beside you. This is a child dealing with a narcissistic parent. And she 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 knows that she's in rivalry with this outside child. She wants this parent affection. 
You can't tell me that this man don't know that. You can't tell me that this man couldn't put, put them children between one on each side of him. That reminds me back at that photo where that little girl was sitting on the floor. Little, little chilla mama sitting on the floor. Look at him. Sit your little butt down try and get, get the fries. You love fries. That's how we see him at home. Y'all know Ariel let him do that. Ariel be sitting down. He be all his pants. He be he be everywhere. All over. He be like that at home. No home training. Look at what all the rest of the children doing sitting down now. Yet you will say that that Ariel is a good mother and male deserve to have her children taken away from them. Let me keep it going. It's difficult, y'all. Just difficult. Y'all know the trauma that this man putting these kids through. This scenery right here. It's your son, eat it. Huh? You can sit beside me, but I gotta keep him on lockdown. Melani just saying that she would have sit by me, but she just not saying it, right? But I gotta this little nothing here beside me. I gotta keep him on lockdown because if he wasn't beside me, he would be he would have jumped up out his um son. Sit down. Sit down, son. Sit down. What you want? Some more. It's more than you. Look at him. Look at my tail. He got my tail all up. My tail don't know what the hell to do. He's trying to, my tail trying to perform for the camera. You can't hide this, bro. You can't hide this, bro. This boy don't have no home training. This boy, this, you, you done slept with this piece of trash. Now you gotta deal with a baby that hug all the rest of your children sitting down, manable, know how to act when they go out in public, and he terrorizing everybody, terrorizing everybody at, at the birthday party, terrorizing people in the damn uh, restaurant everywhere he go, he gotta destroy and terrorize people. But it's not this baby fault. You say that woman is a good parent. Well, we have yet to believe it, you guys. I'm finna end this. But it must be difficult. It's difficult for these children, all this trauma that this man is putting these children to, through. All this head trauma, all this mind games he playing for his own comfort. But that little girl senses that something is wrong, Daddy. Why am I not sitting next to you, Daddy? Why you treat me like that, Daddy? Why you put me on the floor and got this little boy in your lap doing a photo session? Why, when it's hot outside, Daddy, I can't have no juice. And this boy drinking juice, pop, sugar, candy, every damn thing you give him, Daddy. But you tell me I can't. Even eat right now. I can't have a drink of water right now. This is sugar, mama. She senses everything. So now, Melody has to bring all this pain to her therapist. She also has to close in to her kids and tell her kids that, look, this is your father. That makes her sad, but she respect that this is their father. You guys, this is so sad that these kids have to go through that. Melody has to bring all this pain to the therapist. And that little girl next you will hear will say that the dad recorded her. But the little girl was smart enough, you know, to tell the truth. Dad, this is what's going on. We're at the, at, and then at the end of it, you will hear her say, we're at the therapist dealing with a narcissistic parent, dealing with narcissistic sibling is what I had to deal with. 
This is Black Titanic. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Y'all get them numbers up. Get those subscribers up. Get those likes up. And remember, happy holidays, and I love y'all. Oh, uh, I didn't know this. Oh, no, no, sweetheart. You eat the food that you ordered, okay? Working unsafely around underground utilities could put you at risk for outages, injury, and loss of life. So, oh, when Betty and Stormy was up in the uproar about Melody posting about someone recording her, y'all remember, I always thought she was talking about Martell. Y'all remember this audio. Martell Hope wrote, listen to this audio. Melody has done this for years. This is actually a video but I'm giving y'all only audio. This is my 10 year old firstborn. Last year, telling her father something a child should never hear. Yep, I cried after this discussion. Yeah, right. If y'all knew the real male, you wouldn't follow or be a fan. Hashtag, what'd you say? Nope. No peach cobbler needed. Hashtag no peach cobbler needed. And um I'm just gonna tell you guys, y'all y'all see the bottom where it said if you knew me, you wouldn't be a real fan of hers or follow her. That man is jealous over his wife. This is a narcissist. A narcissist don't care who he used as his supply. Today, we're talking about when Nasus pitched the children against each other and used the children as his supply to hurt his hurt male. Let's listen to this audio. <laughs> Okay, now, did you hear what the baby said? She takes us to therapy. These children has to go to therapy. This man is stupid. Is this a dig on him? The little girl say this all is part of our therapy. We talked this over in therapy. Keep going, the narcissist keep picking his children against each other. Hey, this is bro. Look at you. Hey, say something to the fans. Look at daddy. Look at daddy. Look at Jimmy. I want to know what y'all doing out there in this cold, cool world. You got to watch this shit. Or you got people out there, they always trying to get you. But don't worry about it. Anytime you need somebody to keep you going and keep, going, keep on going, it's called... Six 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 six. <laughs> Big Dad. This is Black Dad Daddy, y'all see. Yeah, I'm just tuning in to all my fans. I want to thank y'all for y'all support. Y'all have followed my brother. Big June, they've been following you since you've been in a coma. They knew you were in a coma. They they saw you while you were in a coma and everything. So they still following you and your health and everybody is saying well. But it's a black Titanic son and all with Big Daddy or the president. Say something, Mr. President. Say bye. Six, 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 six. <laughs> Remember, if you ever need, dial that number. Six, 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 <laughs> six, six. He said if you ever need him, dial that number. But look, six, six, six is who we're made of. Six neurons, six protons, and six electrons. That's melanin. This is Black Titanic signing out with bruh.
He's doing good, you guys. Look, look, y'all. He eating now. He eating, y'all. He got the trach out, too. God is good.